back here in Brooklyn. Halftime here at Barclays Center. The Liberty leading the Dallas Wings. 51 to 47, the 51 points, one shy of the Liberty season high for a first half this season. Jonathan Cole, general manager for the Liberty since March of 2019, five years at the NBA and WNBA League office, law degree from Arizona State University, and he is kind enough to join us here at halftime. And Jonathan, really appreciate your time. Just give me a thought this season. We knew heading in, general managers around the WNBA really felt like this would be the most improved team this season. Just give me your thoughts on the overall play for the Liberty this year so far. Yeah, I think it's it's definitely been improved year over year. Um, we're looking for consistency right now. Um, I think a lot of the new additions from from Sammy uh, to B, uh, Michaela, um, having Sab back. I mean, those those people that weren't around last year have really contributed largely uh, to the success so far this season, and I think also in the first half tonight. Nice. Can you talk a little bit about the All Star and Benajelani and? and what she's meant to the Liberty of the season? Yeah, she's meant everything. I mean, Benaja, you know, I think talented players that get to that next level of being a really good player to a star player, the name of the game is consistency. And she's brought it each and every night. Um, and she's just relentless. And I think that attitude and that demeanor uh, and how poised she is, that just translates to the rest of the team, which is so relatively young. Um, and so she's meant everything both on the floor, but off the floor as a leader as well. Now the Wings entered this game with three of the top five picks in the 2021 WNBA Draft, Jonathan. But it's the number six selection, Michaela Onyenwede, who has been super special this season. Back-to-back -back Rookie of the Month. What's impressed you most about Michaela's play? She's just not afraid of the moment. She always meets the moment. Um, sometimes we joke, we, we, we act like, does she realize she's on this stage at this level? Um, and, and she just shows out. I think to start the season, I think she had the first bucket for us to start the year from three. I think she did a couple games in a row. I mean, she always meets the occasion. Relentless, tireless worker. Um, and just a great human being, which is what we said we wanted to add uh, through the draft. And I think uh, she's really come through for us uh, in a major way. I know it's vast difference from being in Barclays versus being in Westchester. And I saw the pictures of the new locker room. Can you yeah. just tell us a little bit of what it's like, what it looks like, what it feels like? Because there's a lot of energy coming from pitchers. Yeah, yeah. First, we got to get you guys in there. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, you see it. <laughs> but it's, it's spectacular. I mean, really, it's spectacular. Ownership stepped up in such a major way. Uh, we hope it sets the standard for player experience around the league. These players deserve it. Uh, Joe, Clara, Ollie Weisberg, they stepped up. Uh, they, they said if the Nets have it, the Liberty have it, and they came through. Um, we unveiled it a few weeks ago. Players are loving it. Um, and like I said, we'll have to get you guys through for a tour sometime in the near future. It's, it's amazing what a difference a year makes. You know, we were talking about the wobble last year yeah. and how difficult that was and how taxing it was for the players for sure. And then here we are tonight. I think John Oliver from HBO was sitting <laughs> court side. Uh, how amazing is it to now, again, call Barkley Center home and to see these great crowds Man. cheering the team on? Yeah, that's the biggest thing. It's to actually have a home here. And I think you see all these people coming out to support. The players feel that uh, they're really invested in the community. They can't wait to get out there, you know, and, and really contribute to it once the COVID restrictions are lifted uh, on the league side of things. Uh, but man, what a great place to play basketball. And uh, we're excited to be here for the, for the long term. Now, we know that you're a huge WNBA fan and you grew up in Phoenix. So what would be your favorite WNBA memory? My favorite WNBA memory is uh, Bridget Pettis, Michelle Timms uh, led teams. I was in the, in the stands for the first game ever. Uh, I remember uh, Cheryl Miller would always conclude the post game uh, or conclude the game by hopping on the scorers table, rallying the crowd. And there's just something really, really special about that initial squad that they put out there. Well, you're putting together a special squad here in Brooklyn as well. Jonathan Cole, general manager for the New York Liberty. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.